Hello, my name is Rick Houston, and I am the host of the Same Vault Podcast. Now that you have heard about the 1989 edition of the Winston All-Star Race from Rusty and DW in a previous video, now get the inside scoop on the post-race fight. In this corner, juking and jiving John Dotson. Um, Rusty, uh, let's see, Daryl claims Rusty knocked the hell out of him. That's what his words were. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they just touched, according to Rusty. They touched in the corner. <laughs> All I know yeah, is yeah, yeah. the next day, Raymond Beetle gave me $2,000 cash. And he, you know, so I was happy. And he's like a rabbit. He said, "This is for the this is for the race, not to fight," you know. <laughs> uh, so I got two thousand cash. Yeah. I got a ring, or whatever, for winning the yeah, Winston. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we got the, we got the trophy and all that. The next next week, Daryl won the six hundred. So rightfully so. Did he hit him? Yeah, yeah. he hit him. I mean, he hit him. Well, Did he intentionally yeah, hit him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then but the fight was much better. Okay, tell me what happened in the fight. Todd Parrott started the fight. Okay, so and he'll he'll he would agree with yeah, me, but yeah. actually Sandy Jones, Sandy Jones started the fight, and you can look at the footage. So Rusty's coming; they're pitting over here, you know. Rusty's driving into victory lane. Sandy Jones has his back to the car, and he kicks the car with his foot with a back kick. He kicks the car kicks as it's going car. by. Kicks our race car just going into victory oh. lane. He's on the right side. And he, he, he's, he's facing this way. Rusty drives by, and Sandy kicks the side of the car. Kind of mule kicks. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? But it's caught on tape. Todd is running to victory lane, and he's got his hands on the spoiler, and he's running behind the car, and he sees Sandy do it. Well, he just grooves over on the spoiler, and then he elbows Sandy, just flails him, you know. Yeah. Well, then they kind of go at it. Sandy pins Todd up against a car trailer. That's right there. And I see this. Well, that's my team. You got my guy up against the trailer. So I run over to Sandy Jones, and I reach around to get him and pull him away, and he bites my thumb. He bites down on my thumb. I have two pair of baseball gloves on. That was before mechanics wear saved yeah. us all. Yeah. I would wear two pairs of gloves. I'd go to the sporting goods store and buy them to change tires. Yeah. Bites down on my thumb, and he won't let go, and his hurts like crap. So... While I'm trying to get my thumb out of his mouth, here comes Cruz. You know, they're watching. Well, it looks like I'm hitting Sandy in the face. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm, like, trying to get my thumb out, and his head's jerking back and forth. So, And it looks like I'm just punching Sandy, but, you know, his yeah, head's, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm like, yeah. no, that's not the deal. <laughs> so then their body man, I forget his name, but he grabs me in a headlock. So we're four guys deep off this trailer. <laughs> he gets me in a headlock. Pulls me away. Sandy's mouth lets go of my thumb, you know. He gets me down in a headlock. Well, I'm all sweaty and everything. So he's got me in this headlock, and I got my headset on. My headset, I go to pull out, and it it pulls off in his hands. He looks up. He's got on sunglasses and kind of looks up. He's, t he's taking me because I'm on now, his who team. is this? He's the body man. His Bob, name okay. was Bob. I, I remember okay. his name was Bob. Um, uh, we weren't friends or anything. But he pulls me down like that. Well, I've stretched away. Now, both my ears cut. I was bleeding on the bottom of both my ears where it pulled my headset off right there. Wow. Not bad, but it yeah. hurt, you know. But all he had was my headset and the wires, and he looks up like, where'd John go? <laughs> well, when he looked up, and I'd done, I had done reached down, and I came from South Paul. <laughs> and I hit him right there, you know. Oh, wow. And he had sunglasses on, and I, I just it was in the middle of fight. But this is what Rusty Henderson told me. He's our body guy. He's still at Joe Gibbs today with Jimmy Maycar. He said, man, when he got off the ground, he looked up. He said all that was left was a wire hanging on his ear right there from them sunglasses. And I've, I've railed into him two or three times. And then this guard that was 6'6", bigger than you, <laughs> he picked me up from under the arms and just walked away with me. And you can see all yeah. this is in footage. Yeah. That night I got home, um, they were sent, calling me, sending me, sending me footage. So we want you to see this. We got footage. They made me a tape, you know. <laughs> and he just picked me up and walked away. Very kind gentleman, I might say. He didn't roughhouse me. Yeah. Yeah. He just, I just felt myself go up in the air, and I'm like, he just <laughs> walked away with me. I said, I'm good, I'm good. He said, I'll make sure you're good. You know, <laughs> carries me over here out of the way, and the fight dis dissipates and all that. The next day, they send Todd Parrott home. 
because he started it, but only for a few days, and he got to come back for the race. You know, nobody got fined, nobody got expended. But I do have footage of me in Victory Lane, you know, adjusting my hat and Bruton Smith, and I'm telling Bruton Smith, here's how it is, and I'm, it's just me. I didn't even know who Bruton Smith was. I said, who do they think they are? You know, they come over here and hit on our car. I said, I'm, I'm going to protect my team. And Bruton's like, okay, okay, you know. So that's the way it was. And I felt really bad that night. I remember me and my wife stopping and eating dinner coming home, and I was like, I just feel bad. I shouldn't hit anybody and all that. And it come one of the greatest greatest finishes oh, there yeah. ever were. Yeah. And every year Tom Higgins would would write in the paper, uh, the, the Charlotte Observer, the top ten quotes, as Barry said, Barry Dotson said, you know, my little brother John got bit. I think it's very unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> it's been one of the top ten quotes for years for the all-star race. But he did hit him. I can't deny that. Was it on purpose? You'll have to ask Rusty. Yeah. And uh, I got some money out of it. And, and, and a nice – and we were – the next day uh, I was at the track. Sandy Jones walks up. I said, man, bite me? You biting? And, you know, we were all laughing and – there's no biting and racing, you know? <laughs> and, and 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 that's the way it were. We were, we didn't hate each other. We just, you just teams. We were laughing. And in this corner, Sandy Jones. So, you win the Daytona 500. Mm-hmm. Daryl has a really good season. Yep. Um, I think we won six races that year. Yeah. Yeah. And almost the Winston. Almost. Yep. <laughs> Come close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so could you could you see the could you see the contact between Rusty and No, uh where we were pitting and of course with the the media uh not the media but the hospital yeah. Then scoring stand yeah. down there we couldn't see that but we just see him sliding with all the smoke and all that yeah. kind of stuff so all right, so uh, just take me through uh, what happened in the garage. Now, I I told you that according to John Dotson, you bit him. <laughs> well, I didn't bite anybody. Okay. Everybody that I've – I was face-to-face with everybody I was dealing with. Okay. But if you're going to tell something like that, you might want to get your story straight. And if you're going to sucker punch somebody, you might want to – think different about it <laughs> <laughs> okay but I, I it did happen and uh-huh. i know the guy that that did it it was our body guy because he was so your body guy bit yeah okay yeah all right uh I'd name him but he passed away with cancer here so we won't bring him into that right um but yeah he was it was like three or four deep and if you're, like i say if you're going if you're going Sucker punch somebody, you're going to deserve what you get. All right. Was that something that the two, that, was that something that the teams talked about later, joking? Yeah, not. Or, not or was this serious business? No, well, you know, it happened. It was put to bed. And, and yeah. uh, I remember uh, the next day, we were in the garage area um daryl he was still upset about it well me and jeff were was standing there and here comes earnhardt and he says you know you boys probably need to get 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 along with everybody we we hear a bunch of races i have that every day you're here longer with these guys than you are your, your family, so you, you boys probably need to get along. <laughs> then they just walk off. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt, the voice of reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. 